All right, welcome to TVC Breakfast this morning. Hi, I'm Mike Okwache. It's the Friday's edition of uh, the program. And uh, I am not here alone. I have my colleague, Kemi Folade, and we're here with me in the studio. Kemi, good morning. Good morning, Mike. It's good to see you. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. Right. What a week it's been. Uh, no, exactly. It's been, it's been a very busy week, one way or the other, you know, yeah. and uh, especially for the country. If you see all the reports coming out from Abuja, it tells you the government is really busy with governors paying visits, with uh, <coughs> senators elect, reps elect, people, ma oil marketers, and so on. Captains of industries paying visits to the president is really a busy period of time for the country. And, uh, well, uh, we, we understand how it should be. Should now, be. the issue of the oil subsidy uh, removal, the impact is still there. However, the president had given, uh, you know, um, uh, a directive to the Economic ca Council to come up with palliatives. And we're seeing that uh, as much as Nigerians uh, may not be comfortable with uh, the, the rise in the price of fuel and all of that, but they are ready to wait to say this is the time to get rid of this and then divert that money to the right purpose, as the case may be. And that is also part of the meetings, the many meetings that the president uh, has been having. It was his first week or thereabout mm -hmm. on Monday. On Monday this week, it was his first week in office, and it now seems like it's, he's been there longer. <laughs> when you look at the, uh, the enormous challenges before him and the activities that have been done, of course, it's, it's to be expected that he would hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. And even though many people didn't see the issue of fuel subsidy removal, you know, coming in this early, people are still saying it's still um, earlier by a month. But even at that, it's good to know that, you know, governors uh, and the president are on the same page mm -hmm. and they are not alone. Many stakeholders are also on the page, oh, same yeah. page with government as to the decision to remove your subsidy but yes you've said in impact and impact is still a big issue mm -hmm. and uh, where we are seeing state after state coming up with one um provision or the other to yeah, you know, to cushion the effect, cushion the effect. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, people are also you know expecting to see much more he hosted that's the president hosted the governor's forum uh, i think early yesterday too and of course there was this um you know them being on the same page them saying okay they will go back to their um, respective domains to see how they can, you know, come up. Of course, states states are not all, you know, together in terms of strength, financial and otherwise. But at least um, the economic forum also would also be there. Economic council will also be there mm. to to the, do the needful, and that has been headed by the vice president. So exactly. we hope that the coming days will come with more positive news. Exactly, and and we see major oil marketers have uh, donated about a hundred buses so far to ease uh, transport. Uh, what about 10 billion naira? Uh, you, you know, recall the days of COVID when uh, private sector captains of industries and companies were donating, you know, palliatives and even funds to federal government. At very critical time to see Nigerians, uh, we're really responsible for each other one way or the other. It was, the president also said something uh, quite instructive when he uh, addressed the governors yesterday. He said... Uh, it's not written on our faces, talking about uh, hunger, it's mm. not poverty, it's not written on our faces. We're not born with it, it's not hereditary, it's mm -hmm. more uh, systemic, and, and that's what we need to, to address. And he also spoke once again about the issue of how we, can, how we come together, you know, the strengths. The fact that we are even still standing as a democracy, you know, also says it all. In spite of all our differences, the fact that, you know, needful times... This is an example. Mm. People come together. And people are also saying it shouldn't just be the governments that will help to cushion the effect of the fuel subsidy. Private individuals also should also um, should join hands uh, in, in doing what they can, at least within their own um, resources. They should also come to do the need for help their employees, help people around, and allow and let all of us you know, go by this time. This time has come, and hopefully it will pass by without... Uh, you know, much issues. Okay. All right. Uh, we wait to see how all of these are going to benefit Nigerians at the, as, as they pan out in the coming days.